Ark Survival Evolved is home to many historical creatures and also fantastical ones warped by element. These are the known species in Ark, but what many don't see is the hidden Ark species. It's known as the Mesh Monkey, and this species used to be rare, but now there is a mass outbreak of Mesh Monkeys, and they are multiplying rapidly. Now you may not see a Mesh Monkey, but you will know one has paid you a visit by their ability to drop your base without going through your defense. Now this isn't to say mesh monkeys are superior. In fact, it's the opposite. They have a very small phallus and they are ashamed of this and, and therefore less manly, so they can't fight. They hide in the mesh to hide their small phallus and pop out on rare occasions to ruin thousands of hours of work. And today, we are going to explore the mesh monkey of Ark Survival Evolved and the techniques they use to supersede base defenses. Now, this first method requires a parasaur. Mesh monkeys like parasaurs because they resemble the fellas. And this is an obsession of a mesh monkey. You whistle the parasaur into the mesh while seated on a seat on the front of it, on the tip, as you would say, and then you eat narcotics and you knock yourself out. And what a mesh monkey now does is they will exit the server and then when they rejoin, they will now be in the mesh. This method can be replicated on squids, on crabs, on many creatures in Ark Survival Evolved. Simply put your friend through the mesh, knock yourself out, leave the server and rejoin, and you will be a mesh monkey too. It's really that simple. And this is why the outbreak is believed to be becoming an epidemic on the Ark servers, because meshing is so easy and everybody knows about it. But for some reason, the developers seem to leave the items that assist this in the game. Now I'm a mesh monkey too, and you can become one as well. Just follow this simple method. This is pretty fucking broken. I've seen a lot of people get wiped from it because you can literally mesh like pretty much any spot with it because you just take that and as long as there's no glitch up spots, if you just use that and a griffin, which people usually do, you can just shoot rockets at a base from underneath or use a tech rifle to break their tech jennies. Either that or just use a tech uh, chest piece. So you can just uh, glide underneath their base. If you guys want to know any more glitches, just let me know. I know a lot of glitches that I can uh, get, that I'm trying to get awareness to. I just don't have that big of an audience, so. Don't have that many subs, so they won't get that much attention. But yeah, look, as you can see, look, we're spawned in and we're inside the mesh. It's broken as hell. But then you just go in orbit cam, make sure we can see where the wall is, look. Thank you, Dexterity Gaming, for teaching us a valuable tip on how to become a mesh monkey. Now, we will see how the Karkanos can also assist us in our meshing endeavors. Um, I'm gonna expose myself, yeah, expose myself again. And basically, um, show you guys that this still works. It's no false advertisement. I'm just trying to get this shit patched. And, uh, I mean, I'm doing a little bit too much for you guys right here. I mean, literally, it's on official small tribes. You guys got the server, it's right there. But, uh, at this point, um, I could care less about the game. Like, it's gonna die. I mean, but, uh, the way how the way, the way how this mesh works is pretty simple and easy. And basically, um, like I said in the last video, um, all you need is a Carquino, climbing fix, and a Chiropod. Even a choice of your uh, grapple hooks or knocker bomb. Pretty easy. I mean, not, that's not that hard to maintain or obtain. Alright, so basically, um, back to the point. Um, once you are on the wall with the climbing fix, your buddy grabs you and whatnot, right? And as you can see, I'm flying or floating, not flying, my bad. And basically, um, same thing as last video. Um, is there stuck I'm not getting disattached this is unofficial because I'm constantly gonna pull up the start button of showing my server and basically um as you can see the guy just needs to dismount and carpod he didn't even move like at all all you gotta do is grab and that's it and basically once you know he carpods it that's when you're floating and like you're just like Jesus Christ like I said and basically um, at this point people struggle with the grapples grapples work but in some areas it might not so in other scenarios, use a narc bomb. I mean, there's other ways to use things, but I love the narc bomb. It just it doesn't really kill me; it just knocks you out for a long time. But um, it works. 
And basically, uh, as soon as you knock yourself out, um, it will basically drop you to the floor and allow you to walk. And I cut this clip a bit so I could hurry up, so I don't want you guys to look at me um, knocked out with full toe gore. And basically, um, this is still in the same server and whatnot, this is ain't no bullshit. And basically, um, look, I'm in the mesh, like, this is literally, um, pretty fucking easy. Like, I'm pretty sure if a Bob could get a Carcino, Carapod, and Climbing Pigs, or even a Grapple or Narc Bomb, it's really simple for him to mesh. It's not that hard. Now, it is clear how to become a mesh monkey. You can do it too. All it requires is a simple team, some narcotics, and a few helpful structures that the devs leave in the game to assist. It's like they want us to be there. Now, we will explore some other methods for getting into the mesh. On each of the maps, the devs leave convenient holes for mesh monkeys to enter through, so they don't even need to do the required methods we have just discussed. Now, I myself am not a mesh monkey, but if I was one, this is a convenient hole the devs have left me to enter the mesh on the map of extinction. It is very convenient and there is multiple holes like this on the map, which makes it very easy for me, if I was to become a mesh monkey, to raid bases without worrying about those pesky defenses. This hole is great. It's very convenient. Just the right size for me to fit through and put a bed in and place down some cliff platforms outside of the map so that I can't be raided myself unless other mesh monkeys find my base. Look at that. How convenient. This is the coordinates. If you would like to become a mesh monkey too. Not that I'm one or recommend it, but if you want to eradicate the mesh monkeys on the server near you, this is the place to come. And now we are free. We've found the back door they leave open for us. And now we can set up our cliff platform and we can live our life in peace without having to worry about anyone attacking us. How convenient. Now we can be free. Free as a mesh monkey that we are becoming. This is the way. The beautiful mesh looks so enthralling from underneath. Who needs defenses anyway? But do not fear, there are mesh holes on all the maps as we will now see from some mesh monkeys on YouTube. Watch as the mesh monkey Acid Pro glitches into this hole in Ragnarok in the crystal cave and he throws a crowd snow owl into the mesh hole. It gets under the map. What a cheeky mesh monkey. Very talented. Now, the Mesh Monkey can ride his team into the freedom of the Mesh. Be free, Acid Pro. Good luck on your journey. Acid Pro is a very talented Mesh Monkey. In fact, he has other spots, as demonstrated here, on the island. Now, this wasn't hard to find. One simple YouTube search of Ark Meshing, and that's how I found out how to become a Mesh Monkey myself. I wonder how come the devs can't search on YouTube themselves? Why can't the devs search on YouTube and fix this themselves? How very strange. Maybe they themselves are mesh monkeys. Now we have some clips from Perplex, another very talented mesh monkey, showing some spots on extinction and aberration. And after this, we will go into discourse of how we may stop the growth of mesh monkeys. Now we will see how Perplex became a mesh monkey and what positions he used. This is on the extinction map. Where are you going, Perplex? Oh, you're going up? You're going up into a crack the devs have conveniently left on the map? How... How positively fabulous. And Perplex has found his home in the mesh. Good luck on your journey as a mesh monkey, Perplex. That looks like a wonderful place to live. No one will ever find you. And you can raid everybody's bases with ease. Oh, now you're on Ab Perflex. What have you found there? Oh, another mesh hole. How excellent. That map didn't come out years ago. Lovely. Now you're free, my friend. Good luck. Now, this video may seem like a joke, but it should be taken serious. Still, you have to laugh at these things because it is a joke. 
that these things are still in the game. It could be fixed with the simple removal of the chair from PvP. Why is the chair still in the game when it causes so many meshing issues? Remove it from PvP servers. Make it so players cannot be knocked out with narcotics. Take out the whole unconscious system from PvP if it's causing mesh issues. Why would this still be in the game if it's the root cause of the meshing? Make it so you can't wake up in the mesh. Take out climbing picks, they assist meshes. Make sleeping bags not placeable in enemy foundations, in enemy territory. Make inside of the mesh non-buildable. Take out the game mechanics that assist people meshing. And limit the building ability on a para so you can't build into the mesh. And make it so perhaps can't pick players. Fuck. Oh, I think I lost it. You guys get the gist. Obviously that voice is probably hell annoying. But it's an absolute joke that these things are still in the game. If you actually listen to what I'm saying here, there are some valid things that I think would actually fix the meshing issue. So, share it around if you guys like the video and think this will help, and want to spread awareness and get the devs to actually do something. Make sure everyone sees it so everyone knows how to mesh. Make sure it's fair playing ground, because at the moment, there's only a select few doing it. Everyone knows how to do it, either we can live in the mesh together as mesh monkeys, or the devs might actually fix their game. See you next time.